what I enjoy having um, co-teachers, it has, it's been amazing because when I was little, I've had a disability all my life um, with language, comprehending words and all that stuff. So if I, I always had an extra teacher in the classroom, it has gave me support and has helped me through many tests, quizzes, homework, and has helped me improve my skills and my weaknesses that I have. And I really appreciate having two teachers. It gives me that support that I need every day. Uh, Co-teaching helps me because they're both very confident in what they're doing and they're very, they, they like to help a lot. So I don't feel like any type of, uh, I don't feel nervous or uh, any awkwardness around them. Like I feel very comfortable to, to go to ask any of them for help. But like I said, both of them together, just that put a power right there. It really is a partnership. And I think, um, you know, people get afraid of co-teaching because they, are like, well, who's this person who's gonna come into my room and do this? And as a special ed teacher, I felt that way too. I felt like, okay, well, I'm gonna go into somebody else's classroom and is it really gonna be mine? You know, it, it, are these gonna be my kids or am I just gonna be in there as a help? And um, that has not been the case at all. We've done a fantastic job at, at just making the classroom ours. She's, even though this is her room, we are both in here and, mm -hmm. and it feels like mine too. Well, at the beginning of um, our full inclusion journey, I was a little skeptical. I was worried about our special education students. I was worried about how they would be accepted by their typical peers. How would the gen ed teachers fit into the picture? How would I get an opportunity to still teach? And it is just so wonderful to see how it's all turning out. The kids are incredible. They are so happy being in the gen ed classes. And the gen ed kids are patient and kind. And in many classes, nobody knows who's who. They're all just kids. And so I just love that about inclusion. And I get, do get a chance to teach. And I get a chance to see really excellent teaching going on with my colleagues. I get to use them as examples and models of how I want to change my teaching and now we've got kids who are getting exposed to the full range of the curriculum when they were only able to get little pieces of it before. When I read something I have to read it like maybe three or four times to really like comprehend what I'm seeing and I'm reading because the words just like jumble up to me to, to the point where it just makes no sense like at all. So having these two te two teachers in the classroom really like help me stay focused it helps me like really determine what i'm reading and just seeing like what kind of like senses i can make out on my own and seeing if it's correct or non correct it's it's really nice to have that support and knowing that they can help me like get farther into my future one teacher that i know that does co-teaching says she'd never go back to the other way because it's become a powerful tool to be able to reach children on differentiated levels. So what's been nice and that Upland's given us that freedom is we've been able to go and do our method of co-teaching, try what works, see what we like, and expand and make it even better for student benefit. The very cool part about the whole thing is that by doing that, Upland has taken down some of the barriers between special ed and general ed. And students te see teachers as teachers and they see the whole environment as a community of learners rather than departments of learning. I think Upland's done a great job of also keeping up with what the nation's doing. This is a better way to be able to use resources and talents to meet the needs of students. It is not easy at first, but if you work at it and you take the time to work with your partner and you find someone that is flexible and willing to work, it can work. It, it can be successful. And I would agree with the same thing. I think um, inclusion, just like any um, anything that's new or anything that's innovative does take work in the beginning, but I think that as teachers, our job is to educate all children. And it doesn't say specifically what kind of children we need to be educating, right. you're educating all children. So it shouldn't matter what they're labeled or what they're called or what other people call them. And so I think that for skeptics, yes, it is scary and yes, it is a lot of work, but that's our job and we're here to support mm -hmm. kids and yeah. make kids grow. With Quentin in Mrs. Peel's class, he's able to have 
um, positive, strong role models that he um, he rises up to meet their expectations, and it has helped him um, focus better. It's helped him with his academic work, and um, more most importantly to me, it's helped his um, social interactions, and he's been able to make friends. I think collaborative classrooms are so important, not just for kids that have special needs, but also for um, students that um, are typically developing kids. Every OT, psychologist, speech therapist, the aides in the classroom, even the campus aides who know and love our kids and have made the experience amazing. Um, they've been patient with us and kind with us and they've taught us to be better parents. It was just her personality helps, I think, bring out the best in me. Um, I find that I'm a little softer now, that I'm a little more understanding than I used to be. And um, it's because she's, you know, brings out, I think we bring out the best qualities in each other, <laughs> uh -huh. right? And, you know, our strengths and our areas of growth, I think we acknowledge that and we talk about it and come up with plans together so that we're great teachers for all of our students. And also another thing that I enjoy about this is that I'm able to bring in the ideas that she shares with students to my other students and my mm -hmm. other classes. So when we teach together, we kind of perfect this lesson plan, but then it helps us, I think you said also, it helps us in our other, in our other classrooms. Wow. <laughs> What can we share about our co-teaching co partnership? Yes. Well, we're friends. Yes, <laughs> that's important. Yes. You have to have a good working yeah. relationship. Yeah. yeah, and I think we both respect each other. So, like, you know, she has her strengths. I have my strengths. Um, I think we're both open to making changes. Like, oh, yeah. she's the expert in history, so I kind of go off of what she's doing in her other classes and stuff. And then she'll talk about, hey, let's do this and this, and then like, oh, okay, maybe we can do this too. You know, so yeah. we kind of feed off of each other. So yeah. you, you have to do that, and you have to definitely. We definitely have an open mind about Gotta everything. Be yeah, some days are great, and some days and like, some days yeah. we just look at each other and go, "That okay. really didn't work." Yeah, that really didn't work today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not so today. It's definitely trial and error, I would yes. say. Yes, and you have you have to be open-minded to yeah. try new things. Yeah, for take sure. Take risks, and for if sure. it doesn't work, then we're gonna try it a, nip, a different yeah, way different next way. time. Yeah. yeah. I was speaking with a counselor not long ago and they were in a parent meeting with a general education student and the general education student said, I love having those two teachers in my geometry class because when Mr. H explains it, I kind of get it. When Mrs. G explains it, like I really get it. I really like having two teachers. So not only are students who are identified with a learning disability being able to access the core curriculum. When we have two teachers or a teacher and paraprofessional in the classroom, we reach all of our students. I just exited at the IEP program, so I was really happy that through that support, um, it has made me become a better person and it helped me achieve. I've been having a 4.0 since uh, freshman year because of that support and I'm still going strong. Sometimes people ask why I want to teach in a collaborative classroom. And I think it's really important that every student feels like there's a place for them. And I want every student to feel loved, and I wanted every student to feel like there is an adult in their school that believes in them. And so that's why it's really important for me to be able to teach in a collaborative classroom. My advice to new co-teachers is to be patient with each other, to look for each other's strengths, focus on the good things, because the, the difficult things are going to get worked out. And remember, every day that you walk into somebody else's classroom, you're getting the opportunity to learn, too. I just have been really excited about this year. I just feel like it's going really well. I mean, there's definitely things that we've had to tweak. And, oh, man. But I just, I love the people that I'm co-teaching yes, with. And I just feel sure. like this has been a good partnership. And I'm just, yeah. I'm so glad that we were able to have the opportunity to do it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs>